This week on The Wire, Home Builder Grants prompt frenzy. $72 billion in projects to create 66,000 jobs and property stay strong despite virus. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So our top story for this week, Home Builder Grants prompt frenzy. So the number of home buyers looking to build a new home has surged since the announcement of the federal government's new home builder scheme. Now, residential development specialist Oliver Hume reported 156 reservations for land across their Queensland and Victoria projects, and that's up 70% on the previous week and 130% on the week before that. Stockland Chief Executive of Communities, Andrew Whitson, also reported high levels of traffic across their many property developments following the build, uh, home builder package release, with inquiry levels now three times higher than the 2019 average. Another developer with increased inquiries was Villawood Properties, which reported its numbers had dramatically risen to reach their highest level since the 2017 boom. A Villawood spokesperson said first home buyers were leading the charge, making up about half of their 59 lot sales across the country over the past week. Here at Infinite Wealth, we've had over a thousand inquiries in the past 14 days and it doesn't appear to be slowing down. And for those looking to take advantage of the grants, we recommend moving quickly to avoid missing out or buying at higher prices due to demand. And now guys, for our next story, $72 billion worth of projects to create 66,000 jobs. So almost $72 billion in major infrastructure projects across the country will be fast-tracked under an agreement between federal, state and territory governments that will cover approval times in half and create 66,000 jobs. The 15 priority projects include the inland rail from Melbourne to Brisbane, the Marinas Connector electricity link between Tasmania and Victoria, the Olympic Dam Mine extension in South Australia, uh, as the dams and emergency town water projects in New South Wales, and rail and uh, iron ore projects in Western Australia. Prime Minister Scott Morrison says this investment and most importantly these jobs will be brought to market earlier by targeting a 50% reduction in Commonwealth assessment and approval times for major projects from an average of three and a half years down to 21 months. We're on track to complete Commonwealth assessment and approval for Snowy 2.0 in under two years, unlocking 2,000 regional jobs. Morrison is also expected to pledge another $1.5 billion so the states and territories can immediately start work on small projects and undertake road safety and improvement shortly. And now for our final story of the week. Property stays strong despite virus. So property transfer numbers for June are looking stronger than a year ago. And this says uh, comes from the Property Exchange Australia, Chief Executive at Glen King. New property listings are up across the nation and refinancing rose 30% last month, according to new data from PEXA, which processes around 70% of all national uh, property transfers nationally. King says while the coronavirus pandemic triggered some slowdowns in property settlements over the past three months, it has been nowhere near the doomsday levels many expected. We're not seeing the drop to the degree that was initially projected, he says, and there has been a slowdown, but nowhere near to the extent that has been suggested. People are still looking at transacting in property. It is safe and secure, and we're seeing some positive signs of recovery around the country. We're also seeing significant increases in refinancing with the consumers taking advantage of offers. Well, guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.